guys and welcome to today's workout. Today is a fun workout with a lot of ab movements, a lot of different movements for you to have fun with the whole hour. And this is how we're going to get started. We're going to start with a hip flow uh, warm up. We're going to be work with three different positions, three uh, reps in each position. Okay, so after you finish with your hip flow, we're going to do a three rounds of a five single leg hip raise, five on each side, 10 squats, 10 jump squats, and then 10 lunges and 10 jumping lunges. For those of you that can't jump, you're going to do regular squats for the jumping part of it. So you're going to do a squat, 20 squats, 20 lunges rather than doing jumping. Okay, after you finish with that three rounds of warm up, we're going to go... Um, into move two movements down to a ladder. So from 10, we're gonna go all the way down to one, uh, alternating between back extension and hollow rock. So you're gonna do 10 and 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, all the way down to one from uh, for back extension and hollow rocks, okay? So after that, you're gonna start a six minutes of, so we, this time for those six minutes, we're gonna uh, do an up ladder, jumping to one, uh, 10 reps every time. So you're going to start with 10 sit-ups, 10 jumping jacks, 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 40, and you're going to go up the ladder as far as six minutes allow you to between those two movements. And then after you finish with your six minutes, give yourself a little break between the 30 seconds to a minute, and then you're going to finish it up with another uh, letter, which is going to start from 10 all the way down to one again of two movements which is wall kicks and lying hand to feet. So we start again with 10 and 10, 99, 8 and 8, all the way down to 1. Okay? So let's go down, uh, let's go over those movements. Let's go we start with the warm up with the hip flow. So what are we looking for here? You're going to start from a sitting position and you're going to bring one leg in front about that 90 degree position and then you, your knee is going to be right behind your heels. And then from there, you're going to have your both hands behind your shoulder and you're going to alternate, you're going to shift legs side to side. So we're going to go for one and make sure my knees always tracking my heel. Okay, so we're going to do three reps on each side. So a total of six. Then our second one is going to be with uh, both hands up in the air. So we're going to be with hands raised and then we're going to do the same thing. Make sure our knees is right behind a heel. And we're gonna do a set of six, three on each side. And then for our last one, it's the same movement, but now I want you to come up on your knee and then push your hip forward, okay? So we're gonna go back down, switch sides, then come up on the knee, push that hip forward. And that's going to be your hip flow. Three different positions, three reps on each position, okay? So, after you finish with that, we're gonna do your three rounds of all your warm up. So we're gonna do five single leg hip raise. For the, for the hip raise, you're gonna be laying on your back and you're gonna have one knee up, so you're gonna have one foot planted on the ground and the other leg is gonna be extended, hands the arms is going to be about 45 degrees on next to your body. And the leg that is extended, I want you to think about pressing that, like pressing a brake almost when you press your, your, your gas or your brake, like your toe goes away from you as far as possible. Then from here, I want you to lift your hip up and squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. And then come down again. And I want you to be aware here that my leg doesn't go over or stay really low. I want those knees parallel with each other. So this is where I want you to stay with, stay with your leg. And then you're gonna shift, you're gonna bring the hip up and then back down. We're gonna do five on one side, then switch and go five on each side. Creating that tension on your leg by bringing those toes away from you. So you're gonna do five on each side, you're gonna stand up and you're gonna go for 10 squats. For the squats, it's gonna be your hip, uh, your stance is gonna be right under the shoulder, your feet right under the shoulder, your toe point is slightly out. What I'm looking for those squats, you guys, is that full extension at the top of the hips and knees, and then 
hip crease below the knee, and that's going to bring you to that full range of motion. So here, push the hips back, drive those knees out, stay on your heels, and we're going to go for a set of 10, followed by 10 jump squats. For the jump squats, I still want to see that full range of motion, hip crease below the knee, full extension at the top, but as you come up, your both feet is going to come off the floor as well. So you're going to bring your hands down, jump, and as you see here to the side, I still get that full range of motion by hip crease below the knee, and both feet come off the floor, okay? Next one is our lunges. You're going to go for 10 lunges, you're going to take a step forward, and then I want you to think about dropping your torso straight down until your knee hits the, the floor. Please be nice and gentle with your knee. So then from here, I want you to think about pressing the, with the heel from the leg that is in front to bring yourself back up and then switch leg. And that's for your lunge. For the jump lunges, same movement, but this time, I want to see that full range of motion. I want to see your hips and knees lock up before you get down to that lunge position again. So the transition between legs, I want to see that full extension before you go down. So you start on the lunge and then you jump. Full extension of knees and hips before you go back down. Just a reminder again, if you can't jump, you're going to do 20 squats followed by 20 lunges, no jumping, okay? So that's your warm up. So then we're going to get to a little bit of core work, down ladder from 10 to 1. We're going to do back extension and hollow rocks. For your back extension, hello. For your back extension, you're going to be laying with your belly down on the floor, hands overhead and then your leg full extended. So from here, I want you to think about lifting your legs and your chest off the ground as far as you can, and then let yourself down again. Squeeze the glutes as you come up. So that's your back extension. You're gonna roll on your back, and then you're gonna give me the hollow, uh, hollow rocks. Hollow rocks, I'm looking for legs straight, feet together, toes away from you, and make sure when you raise your leg, your leg is about 45 degrees, so we don't want to be up here because then you're breaking the hip and you're not really doing what it's supposed to be doing. So I want you to think about 45 degrees with the leg, so that's where you're going to be engaging the core, that's where you're going to get all fired up, okay? Heads over, uh, hands overhead. And then from here, leg at 45 degrees. And I want you to think about rocking your body from lower back to the upper back, keeping that leg a height of 45 degrees. If this movement is too hard for you to do, we're going to modify this to a tuck up. With a tuck up, same thing, but this time I want you to think about bringing your knee towards your chest, and then as your knee comes up, your hands going to go down at the same time. So from here, shoulders off the floor, knees to the chest, and then down. So that's your tuck up if you can't do hollow rocks. Okay? Um, then once you're finished with these two movements, from 10 all the way down to 1, we're going to start that 6 minutes as far as you can. Uh, jumping in sets of 10, so we start with 10, 20, 30, 40, so far until you can get to 6 minutes of sit-ups and jumping jacks. So for your sit-ups, I want you to think about bringing your legs about a diamond shape, so by bringing your feet together bottom to bottom. Then you're going to lay on your back, you're going to bring your hands over your head, and then from there, when you sit, I want you to think about touching your toes so your shoulders comes in front of your hip. Okay, so from here. So that's for your sit-ups. For the jumping jacks, you're going to stand up. And I want you to think about for your jumping jacks so your arms go around your body rather than in front. So make sure you bring it around. And then we're going to clap overhead. 
okay? Modification for the jumping jacks, if the jumping is not your friend right now, so you're going to dip, and then you're gonna bring your hand overhead. Just that motion, and even if this is still too much, you're just gonna stand up straight, and then you're gonna clap overhead. Okay, so that's the modification for your jumping jacks. Then you're gonna get yourself a 30 minutes, to, a 30 seconds to a minute break, and you're gonna finish down the letter again from 10 to 1 of wall kicks and laying hand to feet. For the wall kicks, you guys, you're gonna be using a wall for this one, and if you are using a wall, I want you to start with your feet right at the bottom in that plank position. So your feet. The bottom of your feet is touching the wall at the beginning here at the end of the wall and then from here hands right onto the shoulder and I want you to think about slightly bend on the knee and kicking your feet up on the wall as far as you can and then just back up again. Okay? If you are afraid to do this or if you don't have a wall, you're going to mimic this movement by kicking your feet back and forth up in the air. So from here, you're going to start almost like in a downward dog position, then you're going to bring your feet forward and back, landing in that plank position. Forward, back, and that's going to be your wall kicks. For your lying hand to feet, we're going to go on our back here. Ooh, nice partner. Laying on your back, you're going to raise your feet about 90 degrees here, so you keep your body at that 90 degree position. Your hands is going to stay up, so you're just going to raise your uh, hands up. And the goal here is to create that momentum and touch your toe, and then back down again. So your hands can remain standing up just like that. Or you can bring it over your head to create a little bit more momentum. And if this movement is too hard for you guys, stay on your knee, so plant your feet down to the floor, and just stand up and hold your knee. Okay? So those are the movements for you today. That's the workout. Uh, it's a fun one, has a lot of different movements, and uh, get after. I'm super excited for you guys.